Hey everyone, so I just thought I'd quickly make a video to the workout plans that I created. Um, if you don't know me, I am Sarah and I am uh, doing my degree in psychology and creative writing at the moment. Um, I have many skills. Uh, I have a volunteer page where I do a lot of mental health work and writing plans and workout plans and schedules and all sorts. Um, so I thought I'd put a clip to those as well so it's easily accessible for um, those that are interested in doing this for themselves. So I actually also have a couple of decent injuries so hence also the career change. I used to be, um, those who do know me know what I've done in my life um, but I used to do like a range of things from retail, farming to um uh, traffic management and a whole lot more restaurants and stuff so um yeah big career change but um I am just about finished uh, my degree and I have already um completed my diploma and things like so so I'm really looking forward to the rest of this journey and I hope that you guys find this hopefully uh <laughs> I hope that you guys find this useful uh, so getting back to my injuries, I snapped my ATFL, which is like in your ankle, like quite a large ligament, and I've had quite a bit of trouble ever since. I struggle to, you know, um, twist out my ankles and things because I can feel the uh, damaged area, the um, like unstable sort of feeling I, is kind of what I get. Um, but I've been trying my hardest to just keep going and pushing on with some of my um, exercises you can see like these ones here the leg raises they kind of really uh, take a lot to your ankle um, like your ankle was involved quite vigorously in some of these things that I am doing but I try to put a bit of my weight onto my right side um, which is probably not good but it just helps me complete um, my tasks I also have um, a lower disc bulge so I did that a couple of years ago and it's kind of getting better but I can still feel it it pinches quite a bit and things and I feel it in my workouts and stuff but again I'm not really one to not do it so I'll just kind of push on um, again naughty um, in a sense but just if you do have injuries consult with your own specialists if you're working with them um, don't do it if it's causing you like major obvious discomfort and whatnot I personally uh, I've just I've been doing the same workout for the last three years almost and um, I haven't had any serious major implications from it um, I do feel my injuries of course but it's like it's not like what I used to do um, all day every day this workout I only do um, once every uh, every second Monday uh, I used to do this three times a week, but because of uh, starting a little business and university being full-time and part-time working, I don't have the time to do it three times a week anymore. <laughs> so I'm definitely noticing the difference in um, my fitness levels and things changing. It's quite amazing just how much like a, you know that um, can make it such a difference. So um, yeah, take your time with it and like um, don't push yourself and stuff, but I've actually added some things to my workout, um, uh, which you'll see soon, and with uh, my um, leg raises, which you saw, and with my uh, dumbbell, um, um, sort of, uh, what would you call it? arm punches and things? I think I wrote on the the um, plan. So that's just to try and help um, strengthen up my last injury, which is uh, a permanent nerve damage to my thumb. Um, hand sort of um, a thing <laughs> so um, really weird how much strength the thumb um, is influenced upon your everyday activities and things I didn't really think about it like this obviously until I had my injury and I now have realized just how much the thumb um, has a lot of influence upon our strength picking things up holding ourselves up on press-ups, holding the dumbbells out with your arms out. I can feel it. It's so weak. Um, it's quite in, it's quite incredible, actually. So I have only put on the plan a set number of the um, um, dumbbell uh, twist punches and yada yadas. 
so feel free if you like to add more like I have been doing that's just to help strengthen my arms because oh especially my left arm because that's the arm that's done I mean that's where I've got my injury so um yeah so I have obviously um <laughs> been kind of struggling a little bit I've also been a little bit sick lately but uh I have not given up yet so hopefully this helps and I hope that you guys have fun um, if you do do it and um, there is no right or wrong way I find um, being a dancer um, by nature you know like naturally um, my natural traits um, being a go-getter and things like this these are these are things that uh, help me in my workouts you know some people are a little bit more relaxed they like to work out slower some people like to work out fast work with what like who you are don't fight yourself because you're just going to cause a lot of psychological um you know you're going to waste energy and stuff like this in places that just don't need it so you just follow what you feel is good for you follow your heart and um you know um don't put yourself under any crazy strains and things i'm really used to this workout some people probably can't even do five push-ups 20 push-ups i don't know like um i'm quite fit i've been quite fit all my life so it's it's kind of kind of easy for me um but i like i said i am noticing the difference by not doing this three times a week versus doing it once every two weeks or you know whatnot but i do work um part time uh, and you know i get a lot of physical activity in my daily life anyway so it's not too much of a difference but it's kind of like um incredible <laughs> the difference genuinely so yeah um take your time and just focus and remember what you're doing it for you know this is um th this is what's most important um i i take a little bit of uh time throughout this video like with breaks and things because i've had a bit of a chest infection lately and um just to help with my breathing and things like stuff like that so um i'll try and speed those up like throughout the video they might be a little bit sped up and you'll see me breathing really fast and stuff but it's speed up so don't worry um i'm not dying um yeah so also at the end i take quite a bit of a meditation uh this is what i do every single time i i work out i meditate while i work out as well um i wrote some things for uni and um you know my career and stuff like this if anyone's interested um it's really 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 uh important for like myself like I just find that it really helps me um you know come back to earth a little bit so yeah enjoy also the bands that I use are like not required you can choose to use those or not I really like them for the resistance I got them from Kmart here in New Zealand and uh they had come in a three pack i don't know if they still sell them or not but i use the extra strong one um it's actually torn now so i have to get some new mm -hmm. ones so um yeah
this is the last exercise. These are the uh, sit-ups times 30. Uh, dumbbells are not required. You don't have to use them, but I do use them to help, again, with my arm. Uh, gaining some strength in my wrist and where my thumb muscles and things are having some trouble so if not congratulations on making it through your workout and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your journey So this year is like a little cool down so I was getting a bit of a sore wrist so I just wanted to really um, exercise those muscles and you know give them the best that they've got. I, I know that I'm not going to be doing this for a little while so again you don't have to do this. Uh, I just did it to kind of end my workout. So I'm just like adjusting myself, getting myself a bit more prepared um, for this next little bit here that I really wanted to do. Whilst I was sitting there, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't done these in a while, so I'm going to do these. Um, I'm not sure what the hell they're called again. The um, <laughs> curls roll. <laughs> curls. <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of wanted to cool off with some um, more arm workout because that's really where I need to strengthen my uh, self at the moment, majorly. I uh, then do a little bit of a stretch. So you can do a stretch down. You can you can go for a walk afterwards. You can do whatever you like. Um, like I said, I do a wee uh, meditation and a, a nice good stretch. Stretching all my lower back muscles because um, I have my lower disc bulge. And I um, take a, a moment just to, you know, um, relax. And I... Um, kind of do like a, a deep meditation where you know I'm um, really close to the ground and then I come up to my higher levels like sort of a thing so I'm not sure you could try this for yourself it's completely up to you but I find that that really helps me um, just going through my uh, self and thought processes and thoughts memories and all the things that come to me while I'm meditating so yeah enjoy and uh thank you for watching <laughs>